635. We're going to continue to admit people to the meeting, but I wanted to say hi. My name is Kim Jalay, and my co-VP of the Community and Diversity uh, Committee is Jasmine Shao. Jasmine, just give everybody a wave right now. Are you there? Great. And I'd also like to introduce Ann Andrew. She's the founding member of the Diversity and Community Engagement Committee. And they're both going to be speaking tonight. I'm going to actually ask Jasmine right now uh, to unmute and just translate um, for anybody that might be listening. Okay. Okay. Um, I'd like to introduce also um, my, my, my husband, Vito Labella. Um, Vito is also on the Tech PA board, and Vito tonight is is helping as, as an administrator for the Zoom meeting. But he is also uh, recording this meeting, and we are also live streaming to Facebook. Um, one of the the things we've done this week is to set up a YouTube channel for the Tech PA. We're going to be talking a little bit more about that later for the Lunar New Year celebration. But just to let you know, this meeting is being recorded, and we will be posting it for for people that are un able to attend tonight. Um, they will be able to, to watch this um, at a later date, hopefully within the next couple of days. Uh, that way they can feel like they participated and if they have questions or if they have things they, they'd like to, to um, give any information they'd like to give us, any advice, um, they're welcome to do so after they get to watch it. And we'll be using the YouTube channel more and more um, so that we can reach more tech parents. Jasmine? Okay. Vito是我们PA的秘书，但是这次呢，他主要来帮助我们来做这次活动。那么他有建立了那个YouTube上面的，我们会把我们的活动在这上面就是展现出来，这样我们就不用限制人数了。Now, one of the things that that I, I'd like to talk about tonight is we're looking for help. From, from all parents, if you're a freshman parent or, or a, a sophomore, junior, senior parent, we need your help. And if you have ideas, especially in, in today's world where, where most of our, our events will be virtual, if you have any ideas of things we can do, as you know, in the past, we've had ice cream socials, we've had movie night, book club, Lunar New Year celebration. If you have an idea that you think would work for us, I, I, I we'd really appreciate hearing from you. Or if you have an issue, if if Friday nights are not convenient for you and, and, and you're like, can, can you please do one meeting every other month on a Wednesday? We'd like to hear from you. So I'm just gonna go very low tech and I'm going to hold up our address. So you can take a look at that. Can you see that or is it coming out uh, reverse? I don't know. So let me just say it just in case it is. It's BTHS diversity committee at bths.edu. So please, I check this probably at least once a day. And if you have any questions, any suggestions, please don't hesitate to contact us because I'm sure, you know, there's people out there that are involved in, in a different school that said, we did this, this was a great thing. We did a movie night. We're trying to figure out how to do a movie night um, virtually. It's, it's a little bit of a challenge. So if you have a way that you think would work, we'd love to hear from you. So please contact us. Jasmine? Okay. Um, 欢迎各位家长, 包括九年级一直到十二年级的, uh, 欢迎你们加入我们的这个, 嗯, 这个活动, 然后呢, 希望呢, 你们都能够提出好的建议, 不管是在我们的读书俱乐部, 还是我们的电影之夜, 以及我们呢, 就是庆祝农历新年的这个活动, 都希望你们提出来好的建议，也希望你们能够有意见的时候都向我们联系。然后呢，那个刚才的Kim已经把那个嗯电子那个邮箱已经告诉大家了，在电子邮件上你们都可以看到，所以说希望你们提出好的建议
and we've had some great discussions and we have a book. And again, I'm going to use my, my low tech um, and I'm just going to show you the book that, that Anne and I have decided will be our next book club meeting. And I'm going to hand it off to Anne and she's going to talk a little bit about it. Okay. Oh, you ready for me? Oh, sorry. Yeah. I'm like trying to, I'm trying to pair it by cell phone. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I'm trying to remember, I think last year we met a few times with the book club. It was kind of an inaugural book club. And I want to say um, the book we did was, So You Want to Talk About Race. Yes, it was. Um, and we met a few times, um, I want to say at the Center for Fiction had a room. And we also met at a local wine bar, which might have even gone out of business because of the pandemic. Um, but um, I think both times we had a, a group of maybe 10 or so people. Um, and we actually had a moderator who came, um, who helped us with the discussion. But I thought it was really, um, gave us a great opportunity to kind of connect off campus from school. Um, we also had some teachers and administrators who participated. So it wasn't just parents. Um, and really got to kind of discuss some difficult subjects. Um, Kim and I are actually both reading, I think we just happened to be reading cast at the same time. And I think, um, thought it might be a good next book for us to kind of pick up. Um, I put the link to the New York Times book club up for people to kind of peruse. Um, Isabel uh, Wilkerson, I'll let you kind of figure out, you know, she's a historian, she's one of the poets, her. she wrote a book about 10 years ago called The Warmth of Other Sons, where she actually discussed um, the great migration of Blacks from the Deep South to the North. Um, and I read that book and it was about six or 700 pages, but she writes so, oh, I hate to say well, because it doesn't even kind of bring it in, but she writes a historical uh, uh, a tomb, but she also incorporates a lot of narrative um, and a lot of and a storytelling, not necessarily making up stories, but she, she has a great way of telling a story within the context of some really kind of horrific historical truths. Um, and this is her second book, and she, she spends about 10 years in a book, so when it comes out, it's really quite fascinating. Um, this particular book looks at describing um, race from us, uh, looking at it as a caste system and comparing uh, Nazi Germany um, and that experience with uh, the American South and also the caste system uh, in India, right? So I thought it was really kind of a great book also for our community because it really looks at it from three very distinct but really interconnected um, uh, historical paths, right? Um, and anyway, so what we'd like to do is I think we can do this virtually. I think we can kind of agree to have a date where we meet. Um, we can um, get some questions that we can kind of peruse. I don't know if we necessarily need a moderator. We probably do need someone to kind of unmute people, right? Um, but I think it's something that we can kind of section off into three or four sections and read together and discuss. I've learned a lot. I mean, I grew up in this country and I feel like I'm, you know, knew pretty a lot of American history and I'm learning so much. I mean, I've been, I think I'm about halfway through the book and every day I tell my husband, did you know that there were, you know, Chinese merchants who had their citizenship revoked and their businesses taken from them, you know, in 1878? Like, I'm just learning things I never knew about this country, right? Um, and so I think it's fascinating. It's fascinating, I think, for, for immigrants because it tells a story of immigrants and what it means to come to this country and become white if you were Irish or Italian. Um, it tells a story of, you know, of, of anti-Blackness in this country. And it also tells a story of the extermination of the Jews in Nazi Germany. And it looks at it as a, from a caste perspective, dominant cultures versus non-dominant cultures. So I think it's a great book. I think it's as... Uh, enjoyable as a difficult topic can be. Um, but I think everyone will learn something from this book, um, basically. And so we're hoping that we will be able to meet, um, we can discuss what, what works for people, but we were thinking maybe the first week, first Friday of January, January 8th or so. Um, yes. And maybe we can kind of put a time frame on this so people know like it's an hour, an hour and 15 minutes. I think after it goes after, particularly when you don't have food and wine, I think after it stretches after an hour and 15 minutes, <laughs> it's too much, right? So when we have food and wine, we would have an hour and a half meeting or two hour meeting because we were eating and, and joking, but I think it's a little bit harder with Zoom. Um, so that's the book. Um, it is available. We have, um, 
uh, a, a contract with, uh, not just a contract, but a relationship with Greenlight Bookstore, which is near the school. Um, they were giving us a discount pre-pandemic. I doubt we can get that because of just the economic situation right now. But if, if people are near Greenlight Bookstore and want to support them, that'd be great. But I think you can get this book pretty much any local bookstore if you want to do Amazon or what have you. Um, and I think maybe if we can get into Tech Talk and kind of decide when we would meet, that'd be great and kind of get some energy around it. So that's really, I think, all that I had to say about it, Kim, unless you thought I left No, anything. that's... That's great, thank you. And I also I live in in Bay Ridge, Brooklyn, and as and we know, we have we have parents from every borough here at Brooklyn Tech. We are asking you to try and support. It, it's very easy to call Amazon, but we're trying to support local bookstores. I called my local place, Bookmark Shop. They have it in stock, and they actually said to, I said, listen, I'm not looking for a discount because we know how hard things are right now. But they said, no, if it's a hardcover, we're going to give you a 10% discount. Um, if you come through us and they said they have it in stock, but they said, even if we don't, we can have it maximum four days to get it. So if you can shop local, it would be great. And I, I'd ask, I'm having a little trouble with the chat. I can send to, to one person. I can't for some reason send it to the whole, whole group, but is, is Friday, are, are Fridays okay for a book club meeting? As Ann said, we're looking at uh, January 8th, but if, if Friday is going to be an issue, can you please let us know? Um, we'll try and work around it. It just with Jasmine and Anna and myself trying to find a day that, that we all have an evening that we have free. Fridays have been the best day. So please let us know if you think that would work for you. And, and I agree. It, it's a great, it's a great book. Um, learning not just the cast, the race, um, history, things that you just didn't have, have a clue about. It's, it's a fascinating book. Um, so I, I hope that, that some of you that were there last year will join us again. And for those of you that are new parents or, or weren't able to join us, we'll come in and just take a look. And some of the conversations can be uncomfortable, but they're conversations that we need to have. So it, it, it's a great place to do it. It's a small group. You know, what, what, ta what we talk about at the book club stays at the book club. So, you know, we, we really want people to come and be honest and share with us. And, and that's really what we're looking for. Okay, yeah, I'm so. glad you mentioned that, Kim, because one of the things we did when we first met is we just established certain rules, right? Like what we said there, stay there. Um, you know, there's no shaming. There's no dumb question. Uh, we wanted it to be a really great exchange for, for people. And, I, you know, I hope even in the online, we're going to be able to honor that, that what we say here in this forum stays in this forum um, and what we discuss stays in this forum, right? And so we're all kind of exactly. here to engage and to learn, basically. Thank you, and just a reminder that doesn't include tonight because we're right. broadcast all over the place. This is not a book club meeting. This is yes. not a book club meeting. So that that's a different story. But yes, um, and and yes, whenever whenever we are recording, we will absolutely we will never do that without letting people know in advance. But but it's it's just more about the the diversity meeting so that people that can't be here tonight can be included and and then send us you know any suggestions or comments that they have. All right, so we're going to move. And again, let me mention again, movie night. If anyone has an idea and selected some great movies over the last few years, and we would love to do it again. If anyone has a way to, that you think would get people to come and watch the movie with us, please send us your suggestions. It was, we can't wait to be back at, at Tech in, the, in that wonderful auditorium. But until then, if you have, you know, any ideas, please send them to us. Um, but, but now I'd, I'd, I'd like to hand it over to Jasmine. OK,安安是我们读书俱乐部主要他在运作。那么呢,在去年的时候呢,我们已经在一起读了一本书,叫做《你想讨论种族》嘛。就是这方面的,呃,青年老师和家长在一起,呃,大家对这本书的了解都
about the, the Lunar New Year celebration. And again, we, I, I'm sure we have some, some freshman parents here tonight. And um, this will be our fourth, Jasmine, our fourth Lunar New Year celebration. Yes. Yes. And last year, it, it was a great time. It was a huge success. And I think it was probably the, the last event the Tech PA held prior to COVID. Um, so we are we're going to give it our best shot. And we are going to go forward and have a virtual Lunar New Year celebration on Friday, February 5th. Jasmine? OK. Uh, this year's Lunar New Year celebration was the first one held on Friday, 各个都幸福的不得了，但是这次呢，因为这个新冠肺炎的缘故呢，我们只能在线上举行。那么我们呢，还是大家希望尽力把这次活动办好。那么呢，它是二零二一年二月五号举行，所以欢迎大家都来参
was perfect. Gave me time to restart my computer, which turned off on its own. Thank you. That was perfect timing, everybody. Um, so here is our invitation. I'm doing my low tech um, presentations tonight and we will be sending this out shortly for everyone to see. We will eventually be updating it with the YouTube link, um, but it's gonna be a very exciting night and we're going to be at Are you able to hear me? Can you hear me? Jasmine, can you hear me? I can hear you now. Okay, yeah. great. Okay. Um, this is, again, this is our, our my, my low-tech um, presentation here for all of you. This will be going out on Tech Talk and on standalone emails. And we need, we need lots of help. Um, as we said, we are going to, so we don't have technical difficulties as I just had being booted off my computer. Um, we are going to, to pre-tape all of the talent and the speeches so that everything runs smoothly and we can edit it and have it ready to go so we don't deal with, with these issues. Um, but we're looking for, and we will put this in Tech Talk, we're looking for some talent. We're looking for talent from students, from parents, maybe even from faculty that might like to show us what they have and, and, and bring some interest in so that we, we can get, um, get interest in, in people coming in and watching the presentation because it's a, it's a lot of fun. And it's, uh, I know it's not gonna be as much fun as being there together, but we're going to make the best of this. And so if, and I do think I see Ms. Nottingham here and maybe she could talk a, a few faculty members into performing as well, Jasmine, and her and her group did a heck of a dance last year. We had some wonderful students, and now with with without the restraints of of of, of a banquet hall, maybe you've got a grand piano at your house, and you can do a piano piece, or, or you know you're not comfortable in front of crowds. You can send me a videotape of a violin or a tap dance. It would be great, and we're going to give prizes out. For, for the best talent. So we're going to send out messages to you asking you guys to participate because it's a great night. Hey, Kelly. Hi, it is a wonderful night. I'm assuming you're talking about Lunar New Year? Yes. Yes. Yeah, it's a, that's, a, that's a party. <laughs> it is, do you have any talent that you're gonna share with us? No, I'm, I like, I, uh, no, I don't. I don't even know who's on this call. Let's see, how, can, how candid can I be? Oh, we've got new parents. We've got new parents. So we have to we have to initiate the new parents. So we're gonna be professional right now. First of all, good evening, everyone. <laughs> good and evening, we're everyone. live. I did not realize I didn't yes, realize Kelly. I was gonna be here tonight. And I'm at my girlfriend's house at her housewarming. And we're Just doing so a call know. to housewarming. So like I'm the only guest. Oh, okay, be careful. We are live streaming and we are videotaping. Just just so you know. So there's thousands of people on here probably. Okay, great. So hi. No makeup on. This is this is Miss Nottingham. This is Kelly at this point, right? It's Friday night, and um, we're just going to be extremely vulnerable right now, and everybody's going to forgive me. <laughs> and Arthur, man, I got you. I got you. This, I got you. Okay. So, um, no, I do not have a talent under, other than my charm. Uh, however, <laughs> however, we as a community are riddled with talent. Seriously, and uh, what's beautiful. The one good thing about being virtual is that we can showcase that talent no matter where that person is. So I think you guys would have an easy time recruiting people because depending on how many guests you wanted, it would be relatively simple to get those videos or get that talent. I'm actually having to be really creative when it comes to graduation. We have a fall play that we're producing and it's all virtual and the actors have to record their parts and we have to piece it together so it's like a movie. Um, we're doing it for the talent show. The kids have to record their pieces and submit it. And then when they record those pieces, it'll it, you still get to vote at the end and it's everybody gets to vote. So for the Lunar New Year event, I think it can be really special. And um, again, I don't I really don't know who's watching, but one of the things about Lunar New Year is it's communal. It's something that um, it brings you together around a meal and drink. And it's, it's also that piece where you're breaking bread together. And I, would, I wanted to suggest that maybe those who purchase a ticket would get some kind of kit, like some kind of something that represented our, um, like, uh, like, 
not a meal kit that they would prepare the meal in, but maybe like, you know, they do all these kits nowadays and it'll come with like a pastry, um, a cheese or a type of cracker or bread or a signature drink, um, even not alcoholic, but just something that is, 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 a, is a cultural piece. Um, maybe, a, maybe a red envelope, right? Maybe whatever it is that would come in that kit for anybody that purchased a ticket. So that when you do sit down for Lunar New Year and you're enjoying it, you know, you could, you could open your kit and participate that way. That's the only, that's one of the things I thought about in the last couple of weeks when Lunar New Year came up a few weeks ago with the PA presidents. Um, that's the one piece I'm going to miss the most is sitting at the table and breaking bread. And, you know, some of that bread we're breaking, I haven't had in years or, I, you know, you only see it during Lunar New Year. So that was my contribution. I'm sorry. I'm not looking at the, at the chat. Um, it is, it is totally, well, first of all, the event would be, would be virtual. So anybody could technically attend, but if you decided to donate or purchase a ticket, because this is one of our bigger fundraisers for the year. Yes, noodles from different countries. This is one of our biggest fundraisers of the year. And I, for one, like would buy tickets. I'm just saying that because I forget, how much did we charge last year, Hong? Uh, anybody, Jasmine, Hong, Kim, what was the price? Because it was like layers, right? Like if you bought a table, it was one piece. 600 per table. How much? 600 per table. Right, so 600 per table. Or like yes. 65 right, but like, so, per so, person, yes. Or 65 per person. Now, I don't know how many people want to pay $65 to join a, a live event, but if I knew that $65 was not only a fundraiser, but I would get a kit in the mail, that was, you know, curated to support the event. That's that's a cool bonus, in my opinion. And the amount you paid for the venue and the food might be at, versus, you know, the profit might be a, a kit might be cheaper. I'm just, I don't know. Kelly, I don't know. Kelly, I'm so glad you came to the meeting because these are the type of ideas that we're looking for. And and thank thank you for that because. We were talking about it, it at, at this point. We were doing it. Um, it was it was free, but we can do both. We can say, you know, if you want this, we can give you. If if you want to contribute, we can also send you something, and we can work out what it is we send. And but for the rest of the people that that can't do it, and we understand there's a lot of people that can't, you're still welcome to come and enjoy this with Absolutely. us. Absolutely, absolutely. Right, donations, and if you give a donation above a certain amount, you'll get a kit mailed to your house. Jasmine, would you like to translate a little? Uh, but I, I have a question first for Kelly. So yeah. uh, some parents, they ask if the kids join the celebration, could they get the credit? Could they get what? Credit. credit. Of course. Yes. Kid, kids who join um, events that are one-off events, like Founders Day events or something like that, Lunar New Year events, any kid that participates gets two club credits right off the bat. So if you did five events for the year, you end the year with 10 club credits because you participated in the school, in a school event. Yeah, before they don't get this. So that's why. I don't, I don't, I don't know if it was, I don't know if my secretary, Miss Yvette, got the list. But I don't think that we, the kids are still there. I don't think I ever got a list of kids. That I don't think out. We, we didn't pursue it. So that that falls to us. And we will make and sure guess that what? We there's no statute of limitations that. on that. If you have Good a list of kids that have helped out, let me give them the credit if they're still in our school. That's fine. Thank you. And the reality is a lot of the kids that help out with you, Lunar New Year have way, way more credit than they need. They probably didn't even notice. Just saying. And I, I might have to twist your arm to see if you know any talented um, faculty, because I think we could get kids to, to tune in and watch if we had our middle school. We've had a couple of teachers who are absolute hams that love to, to perform either dramatic readings or, or singing. There's got to be a couple teachers at, at Brooklyn Tech that, that yeah. like these. We teachers. have, um, I mean, obviously, Miss Rebby, Mr. Fisher, and Miss uh, Jerry, uh, Miss LaPierre. Obviously, the three music, music teachers are talented. We also have Mr. Trombetta, who I believe plays the sax or the trumpet. Oh, God, he's incredible, yes. Um, uh, wow, this is a good time to showcase their talents, actually. I can't think of anybody else off the top of my head, maybe because I'm put on the spot. I could find out. That's, an easy, that's easy, to, easy enough to find out and easy enough for me to reach out to them and privately and just say, you know, we're doing this, would you be willing to? 
um, yeah. It, it would be fun. It would be fun for the kids to. to Mr. Newman play, plays the drums. Mr. Newman <laughs> plays the drums. He's actually, he's actually a percussionist. Wow. Um, oh gosh. Yeah. Yeah. This year, because um, we may have more time for the performance, so we want to get to. Uh, uh, some uh, shows from a school. Yes. Okay. As many as many people as as we can put out there, um, we would like to do so. And and Hongmei, somebody just asked a question, which is really very important. Um, it's not just um, Chinese. What other countries celebrate Lunar New Year? We'd love to have um, parents or faculty from other countries that celebrate the Lunar New Year give yeah. a, a Happy New Year uh, greeting as well as, as right. not just Chinese. Yes. Yeah, um, Young John, Young John uh, Lee, he, God bless him, he just had a baby. So he's on fraternity leave, but he's somebody I would, I would definitely tap to see. Um, I would definitely ask him if he, if, he, if he does anything like that. And we do have other Asian faculty that I can ask that are not just Chinese. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing someone say uh, Korea, Chinese and, and Vietnam. Um, I know um, my son Dylan, his Spanish teacher last year, Mr. Uh, Senior Kuhn, um, yeah. was, I believe, from Vietnam or Korea. I'm not, I'm not sure. But yeah, so there's teachers there that we could get to maybe just uh, give us a greeting. It would be wonderful just to see yeah. the faculty members. Absolutely. Absolutely. And there's no excuse. <laughs> That's right. It, it, we've got time. Uh, Cindy and Lisa... Um, who they, they have been so busy all week. Um, they wanted me to extend their greetings to all of you. And I, I've told them you have to, you, you've got plenty of time. You can record a greeting and, and we'll just edit everything together. And that means you too, uh, Ms. Nottingham. We need your greeting and we'll give you plenty of notice and we'll, we'll put the whole show together. And then right now it looks so like- So I have to record it? No, nothing about this is live? Um, part, we're going to have um, Aunt Vito and Jasmine's daughter at this point are going to be the MCs, and they will be live and they will be showing it. Now, if, if there's some people that, that definitely want to be live, I don't want politicians to be live that gave speeches last year because I can't count on them being on time. And I don't want to hold up an evening for a politician. Um, okay. But the, the, the talent, the ta if you want to give your speech live, that's fabulous. And that would be great. Yeah, um, I, 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 I would want that. I, that, that would be wonderful. But I, I'd like to get like the talent so that the kids, you know, they can, they can frame it exactly as they want. We can edit it and have it nice and smooth, a nice transition for them. Yeah, absolutely. But that's, if you're willing to come live, we'd love to have you. Um, and yes, I will, I will be there. That'd be live. great. <laughs> it, I, people to, to hear live voices, it's, it's something nice these days to have. It is, it is. It, it sure is. Jasmine, would you like to, to translate anything or? Okay, I say something, a couple of words. Okay. Uh, this event, besides celebrating the new year, we also want to give some funds to the school to give some funds. The funds to give some funds will be used in the most of our children. Because some schools are not able to pay for it, they are not able to pay for it, so they are not able to pay for it. 所以我们的这部分钱会用在它的方面，还有呢，有时候呢，学校的资金不够的情况下，需要增加有些某些对学生很有用的设备。那么也是从这里面呃钱来出的。所以呢，我们就是说希望大家能够呢，有利出力，有
，因为这次呢，因为大家不见面呢，不太容易在一起，就是来啊、呃，集体性的节目就比较难。如果以家庭为单位呢，相对就会容易一些。那么呢，这次主要都是把它录下来，然后呢，就是我们再把它。放在那个 YouTube 和 Room 上面来，就是来播放。那么呢，我们就是希望呢，在十二月底之前，能够你要报名，把你的节目都报上来。那么我们到了呃一月份呢，我们就要进入后期制作。那么就尽量就是让它看起来美一点啊、呃，就是好一点。所以说啊、呃，希望就是还是那句话，希望有这方面。才能的人主动出来跟我们联系。好，谢谢。Back to Kim. Thank you, Jasmine. And I, I'm just sitting here as as as、uh, you were speaking, and I just I want to thank Miss Nottingham again because that's a great idea.、Um, because we are looking for ways to raise money for the PA, and the idea of of selling tickets and 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 sending them something so they feel more a part of it, I think is a great idea. And and I just want to thank you again. You're muted. Muted.、Um, my pleasure. And also, as I was thinking about the participatory part、um, of Lunar New Year and all that you get to do and feel and touch and see,、um, uh, I don't want to sound like cliche, but like if in the kit was like a beautiful piece of rice paper that we had to fold for orig origami, like if somebody walked us through folding it. Um, the red envelope. If there was something with a beautiful dragon on it, maybe、uh, there's a bell that the the, the dragon like it makes like a like it has a, a bell around. I can't remember if it's around his neck. I can't remember. I know that they. I remember the ritual because I had to do the ritual because you. <laughs> I had to do the ritual, but、um, I'm just thinking about the kit. It's not. It doesn't all have to be about food. It could be. It could be textures、mm -hmm. that were cued to pick up on. During the event, because the dragon wake,、uh, be, um, being awakened is a thing, right? So, like, if you have to wake the dragon, and everybody has, I can imagine, like, my five-year-old picking up, you know, something that rattles that's in the kit that I have to do while the dragon is being awoken. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes, it, it,、um, it, it does. A lion. Lion. It's not a dragon. It's, it's a lion. Yeah, lions. It's a lion. It's a lion? Yes. So yeah, all these years I've been, I've been, I've been attending the New Year celebration, and I thought it was a beautiful dragon that they're dancing in, and it's, it's Kelly, so, okay, great. So, so and that、dive. went live to everybody. Now, dragon is、community. very long. It's not that kind of type. I'll give myself off. I always thought that too. I always、yeah. thought it. I swear to you, nobody's ever clarified that to me. Thank you, Jasmine. So、um, it, it's the year of the ox. That's the piece. Year of the ox. Yes, it's the year of the ox. It's my love match. Um, <laughs> so that's the that's what I'm also thinking about when you guys think about what goes in the kit. I have I would love to participate in what goes in it, and also I'm I'm looking at the chat. The PA is going to be used more than they think because this week I found out that with all the budget cuts, we do not have money for activities. So every club that needs to pay for a chapter like. A chat, like a national chapter of an organization, or any club that may have to pay some type of dues. Any, I, I will be talking to Cindy and Lisa about what I discovered this week because we have a PA meeting this coming week. So I was just waiting until Monday.、Um, the numbers came in yesterday, and they basically took everything that we would have used. So I'm not saying it would be thousands and thousands of dollars, but this means something. Like. I will be knocking on the PA's door for certain things, little things, debate team, chess team. We may need assistance. That's、yes. the reality of it. And yes, social emotional. We have so many great ideas coming in. Speakers to talk to kids, things they can attend.、Um, you know, thing、uh, licenses to certain movies that they can watch. But I just found out that we as a school may not have that budget to make that happen. So this fundraising is extremely important. It really, really is, and that that's why that's why we're here, and and to help to help Brooklyn Tech wherever we can, and yes, we we knew this is coming. We we knew、yeah. there were going to be hardships, and and that's why we're here. Right, and Camille, we might need more social workers on staff, but the, but even then, that that is something that we may need to consider with the PA funds for this year. 
Yes. Yes. Just checking the chat. Um, we have, a, we have a lot of work to do because Kelly actually with her great idea has given us more work, but it's great work because it's actually going to bring in more funds. And so again, I'm going to, I'm going to go with my low tech again, our email, is this showing, is it showing right? Or is it showing backward? It's showing, showing right. BTHS diversity. See, if if you are willing to help with the Lunar New Year celebration, please email us and Jasmine or I will get back to you. And, and we, we need your help because this is a big undertaking. We have hundreds of people that have attended this in the past and it can be a huge success and it can be a, a great fundraiser for, for Brooklyn Tech. And as Kelly said, um, this year, as we knew, they are going to need our help more than ever. So please, if you have time to help us, even if, even if it's an hour, let us know. We could use that hour of, of your time. Jasmine? Okay. Uh I'm, we are going to, to have um, a post weekly in, in Tech Talk, but for all of you that are here this evening, it would be great if you could just email us directly and we, I'll set up a, a group email so you know exactly where we are and where we need help. And then we can add more people from Tech Talk as, as we go forward. But right now, what I'd like to do is open it up and ask if anybody has any questions about any of our events. I think I need to unmute them. Yes, if, uh, Vito, can you unmute? I'm looking can, to- Can we all be unmuted? Could we? Can, they should be able to unmute themselves. This is Rich Myrtle, can y'all hear? Hey, yeah, Rich, how are you? Hey, good. I had a quick question about the book club. Yes. So I think the meeting was scheduled, the first meeting is scheduled for July, uh, January 8th. Yes. Um, is there uh, an expectation of how much of the book we should all have read by then? Or should we have finished the book by then? Or is it a- No, no, it's, it's actually, it, it's a rather long book. And, and Kelly, you may have joined later. So I'm gonna show again, this is the book that, that we are going to go forward with. And Anne and I agreed on the first two parts, which takes us up. I'm just going to open it up real, real quick. Page, uh, to page 89. 89. Um, that, that's as far because it's a long book and, and you, it, it, some, you need to absorb it a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, so we will put that in when we send out the information about the first book club meeting. We'll let everybody know we're only expecting you to have read parts one and two up to page 89. Perfect. Thank you. Anyone else? Uh, if you're unable to unmute, please put it in the chat so we can help you unmute. No? Uh, Jasmine, is there anything else you'd like to talk about? All right. Um, as it, we're going to, to put some more information. We'll put an update. We'll put a, a summary of this meeting in Tech Talk. And we thank all of you for coming back after our technical difficulties last week. We apologize again. And if you have any friends that said, gee, we're sorry we couldn't be there on Friday night, um, we will, within the next couple of days, we will post this on our YouTube channel, which is what we will be using to broadcast the Lunar New Year celebration. So um, again, if you have any questions at all in the chat, you can see the email address. Please don't hesitate to contact us. And I'd like to thank Ms. Nottingham again for coming here 
and we're going to harass her for club credits for the kids to get to get faculty to be part of the talent. There's lots of things we're going to annoy her with. Um, so we're going to punish her for coming, but we really, really appreciate her being here. You're very welcome. Thank you all. <laughs>